Right, so we 44 in the first paper. Let's see if you can improve on that this time around. That is correct. Uh, 9,417 is correct. That is correct. And they are correct. So that's good. Uh, that's not the um, most attractive looking symmetrical shape. Where have you gone wrong? Um, you've gone wrong here look that's three squares that side so it should be there that's two squares so it should be there which then means your curve hang on, one two three four five yes your curve is going to do more of that okay so you've made two mistakes so you're not going to get any marks there so for that page you have got five okay take a look at my clips for those two that's good uh four seven four oh four seven hundred that's good now you're going to get naught for this okay because you haven't shown any workings out you haven't read the question and the question says two 20 pound notes your answer is right for one 20 pound note but because you're not making any effort to show me what you're doing i can't give you the credit for working it out with 20. 10 centimeters cubed would be the space you would take up with 10 oxo cubes. A kettle is bigger than that. That is correct. That's too far. Um, 340 kilometers is the distance from London to Paris, and 60 square millimeters is a lot less space than the area of this page. Okay, if you think you could do this in the exam, you can measure the page. It's 30 centimeters that way. It's 20 centimetres that way, 30 times 20 is 600 square centimetres. So you've got the tools on you in the exam to get that right. So you've only got one mark there, five for the page. That is correct. Uh, and that is what you need to say there. Here, that's outside the range. You're making no uh, effort again to explain to me where that number comes from, so I can't give you any credit for what you've done. And that will do for your explanation. Six for the page. Uh, that's correct, two marks. 49 is wrong. Um, and your method there, you've just written down what's being done. You have to show that to undo it, you've got to do the opposite by timesing by six and then subtracting. So you haven't shown me a method there. Um, 5H and 6H is 11H take away 4h is 7h and those are wrong as well what you should be doing there is taking the first number multiplying it by 4 and then the same there 21 is correct but you need to give the units of your answer and when you're in volume you need to say cm3 so you get the number of co um, cubes right but you don't tell me what the volume is this is an angle measuring question make sure you've got yourself a protractor and have a practice at drawing that three marks for the page more angle work um, 13 left over is correct but um, it isn't 
eight crates. Okay, so your method is right, part of your answer is right, but part of it is wrong. And that's not right. Forty miles is wrong because he's starting at ten and he's travelling up to forty. So he's only gone thirty miles. You need to um, explain how you decide. You're just telling me, so you're not going to get the marks for that. And he doesn't arrive at home at three fifty. So you, no marks for that particular question. Sixteen twenty nine to eighteen twenty two is the wrong train. Okay. He catches, she catches the 1529, which comes in at 1723. So you're using the wrong clock, the wrong times. But that time difference is then right. One mark for the page. Times it by four is correct. So what you have done correctly there is you've told me that three fifths is 60%, so 65 is larger. Watch how I do this because this is a fairly common question that is easy to learn how to do. Um, okay, your points are correct. That's wrong. It's positive if the points are increasing, both getting bigger, so your slope is going like that. It's positive correlation. Uh, your line of best fit doesn't join the points together. It goes in the same slope, the same direction as your points. And for yours, um, your line of best fit, actually, that does give you the right answer. Your enlargement is correct. But where it is on the grid is wrong. The centre of enlargement doesn't mean you have to put that in the middle of the shape. It tells you what you have to do is to find out to use that and the position of the original so that corner on the original is two squares away from the center so on the enlargement it needs to be twice as far so it needs to be four squares away so your original is going to start there and so on from there So you got that wrong. Right, this is wrong. You haven't reflected it. If you reflected it, the triangle would be upside down. And it's also on the wrong reflection line. Where this needs to be, what this is telling you is to put a mirror on the line where x equals 1. x equals 1 is the line where the x coordinate is always 1. So they want you to put a mirror down there. If you've got a mirror down there, it'll reflect it to there. So that's what they were looking for. Five for the page. That's um, completely wrong. Have a look at the video clip to see that. What this question is asking you to do is to show where the creases would be once you've finished folding it, you've opened it back up again. Okay, um, and I can see what you're trying to say here is you're trying to say take that point and join it to that point. Well, that would produce that crease. You have to fold it twice, so then you'd have to have that crease in there as well. 
similarly what you're seeing here is take this side and fold it down there to produce that crease and there I think probably you will get one out of four for that and that's wrong and that's not enough we're going to be focusing on algebra like this in the next couple of weeks so on that paper Toby you have scored 5, 10, 16, 19, 21, 22, 27, 32, 33 not so good not so good 33 would get you an F however over the two papers and in November you'll be sitting two papers uh, if I bring in your 44 that would give you 77 out of 200 and in November that would give you a grade of an F okay so there's more work to be done more concentrating that you need to do more practice